All right, we try again. Fuck. Okay, that's a bit better. All right, we got rid of that, we got rid of that. Edit video. that come on all right Hey there UKC Fishing with Big Dan, how are you mate? Welcome everyone, I'm really sorry about that. Streamlabs is the worst app that I've ever used. That's the uh, fourth time I've had to reinstall it on my computer and phone in four streams. All right, Laser Show, how are you Riley? Welcome everyone, no one watching. All right fam, so this is what we've been prepping for. We're down in, Cal we're up in Calbarry in Western Australia, one of the most beautiful parts of the world, okay? Now, let me show you something. Right, that's the mighty Murchison River. Okay, this is one of the most dangerous breaks and uh, river entrances in Western Australia. It's even more dangerous than Walpole. We're going to be fishing this for Mulloway today. So, without further ado, let's get this sorted. Okay, now I need to tape that. Just let me get this sorted there. Give me a second. I just got to make sure it's not going to compromise the stream. The electrician's tape is the bomb. Right. There we are. Let's see how that's going. Just give me a second, Famo. Right, that's good. Certainly is. Riley, we're in Cowberry, Western Australia. Don't forget to like the video, fam, because that's what they tell you. Right, now. Let's go in here now. Right, I've just got to make sure this stays together. I don't need it to fall off the little tripod that I've got. Great. Alrighty. As Australians, we're very industrious, fam. I refuse to give people $4,000 US for a backpack. I'll just make one, you know. Now, bring this in here. No, that's not gonna work. That's all right. That's where the camera is. We'll sort it out. Actually, I think probably two of these will go. Let's just have a little look. Before I do anything more, let's just see how that goes. Thanks, Riley. Daz, how are you? Phil H, welcome. Thank you to all the 11 people that are watching. Let me just sort this out. Okay, so what we're going to do, Famo, is we're going to go from the uh we're gonna go from the uh laptop to the phone okay all right
What? Ah, oh, for God's sake. Jackson, how are you, mate? Just give me a second, fam. Paste. Right, so let's go well away. Snapper. Pink. Pink snapper. Mackerel. Kingfish. Samson fish. Save. Thank you. Now let me just check this. All right, fam, so we have a good view. Oh dear. All right. Yeah, not today, Mayhem. We're gonna be fishing for snapper tomorrow, okay? All right, people. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it, Riley? All right, fam. Right. Yeah, so that's the that's the camera with that inside there, so now it's streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you take your laptop down too or you leave that nah, here? No, I'm gonna leave that here, man. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that here. Laptops and water don't mix, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, oh, it took a lot of mistakes and a lot of money to learn how to do it, you know, but hey that's you're either in it for the long haul or you're in it for yourself, mate. So when you're in it for the long haul like me, you know. I'll, I'll probably die streaming, man. That's on the cards, you know. Pardon? Thirty bucks, mate. Who cares? You know, that's that's all you need. I mean, all you need is just a um, all, all you need is just a stable um, platform to um, you know basically. Um, just hold it together it, yeah, yeah. and that's that's all that does yeah yeah so you know can't beat it mate bunnings 30 bucks yeah. right so i'm pretty sure i'm allowed to fish on that point pretty sure i'm allowed to fish on that point yeah. so i'm pretty sure i saw we were doing it yesterday yeah yeah right. nice meeting you mate you too. all the best for the future mate right? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah even if i do i do if i don't i don't mate I'll let him I'll let him go anyway, so Yeah I will do mate. Very, very cheap entertainment mate. <laughs> Alright famo, let's go. I'm gonna um put the uh, phone on or just pick the phone up in a second. Alright, let's do this. 
Uh. Okay. All right, fam, we're just gonna walk down to the spot. This is a swimming area. You're not allowed to fish here. Now, the wind's blowing right to left across the screen. So look, uh, once you figure out how things work with your fishing, you should be able to go to any fishing spot in the world and figure out how to fish it. You know, so we have a southeasterly breeze blowing this morning. So we're gonna work with the southeasterly breeze. Tomorrow we have easterlies blowing. So we are going to work with the easterlies, you know. That's just how it works. So just give me a second, we're just going to walk to the spot fam, right uh, hard sand, that makes life easier. Ah, look at these beautiful, alright, oh, yeah try not to get wet. Okay, famo. So. No bait today, fam. We're just using lures. Hey? It's hard enough to catch my way. <laughs> With bait. Right, hang on a second. I'm just uh, losing my tackle box here. Okay, more leader. Ah. All right. Okay, fam. Morning. Where does the swimming area finish? Oh, so it's okay to fish here, isn't it? Yeah. All right, thanks, mate. Hey? Yeah, Chinaman's points. Okay. Right. I'll give you all the best. Thanks, I'm going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> the old shell. Ah, oh, that's it, mate. Yeah. Sometimes fish get in the way of fishing. Oh, yeah. Come on, Izzy. Hey, Izzy. <laughs> all right. Now, great. All right, famo, cow. <laughs> All right, fam, good work. Now, I'm just gonna leave the phone there, right? So, these are the soft plastics that we rigged during the week, right? That's it, Steve. <laughs> oh, that's right, laser show. All right, famo. Ooh.
Look at that fly, fam. Oh, yeah. Demo, we've had a hit. Well fam, first cast of the day, and we had a hit then. Something latched onto the tail. So let's go again, shall we? So. Oh, we did, cow. So what we got to do, Famo, is, let me just get this down here, I'll put this on my pocket. So what we're going to do is, that's the channel that the boat's going through, we're casting to the channel from the shore. That's a two ounce jig head with a seven inch tail, but we actually got a hit then, first cast, let's go. Look at that fly, fam. <laughs> oh, what was that? We had a hit, Famo. We had a hit. We had a hit again. I might have to go to a smaller soft plastic. Right, well there's a couple of things that we're going to do here. Yeah, we've had a couple of little nips at the tail, Famo. This soft plastic today is just for big fish. We're trying to catch a metre long fish in here, you know. We'll see how we go with it, okay? So. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, mate. So what you got to do, just watch the end of the rod tip. So, now count the air time, fam. Ready? So when you cast, you want to have your line straight behind you like that. You've got to remember you're working off an arc. So, that's still going, still going, still going. Boom, shakala. Right. That's reef. We just hit the reef, famo. One soft plastic dead. Come on. Oh, well, let's go. Oh, we got it. Did we get it back? Let's have a look. Or not? No, I don't think so. Are you, oh yeah. So what happened was our braid got hooked up on the reef. I've got swivels in my pocket, yes. And leader, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move further down to where there's no reef. All right, Steve. Okay. So we're just gonna move down a bit. What I'm gonna try and do is cast to this part of the channel, right? 
where there is no reef. So let's just move down here, okay? So we're just gonna hang down here for a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish right to the right of this channel marker, okay? Don't think there's any reef in here. And there's a bit more of a swirl here, okay? So let's just hang out here for a second. Boom, nice. Put the phone down, okay. We've got the net ready. Oh, there's 10 bucks down the drain. <laughs> uh, if you're worried about losing stuff, don't go fishing, fam. All right. What I might do is just ping that back a bit like that, see how that goes. Okay. We had a good hit first up, Famo. That was a really good hit, but I think the soft plastic was a bit big for what we were um, using, you know? Just gotta do a quick bimini twist up, and then I'll just do the cat's paw and we're away again. Uh, we've got a big day of fishing tomorrow, fam. We're going to be fishing a reef north of Cow Barry, right? And when we fish the reef north of Cow Barry, um, we're going to have reception. So get ready for some really good content, fam. Who knows what we're going to catch? Or if anything at all, really, but at least we're out there having a crack, you know? <laughs> Ziasin, how are you, bud? Yeah, don't use Twitch, mate. Don't use Twitch. YouTube. How are you, Ziasin? Welcome, bud. <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah, we're going to wind down Twitch, famo. I've had enough of it. Yeah, we're going to predominantly be, uh, you know, all YouTube, I think, from now on. So, Ziasin, how are you, bud? All right, now, let me just sort out the soft plastics. These are the soft plastics we're using today, Famo. Right. And Fam, you gotta to remember too, right, that um, with our um, streaming setup, we can stream in a lot more remote areas than a backpack, okay? Oh, it is Ziasin. We're in Kalbarri, Western Australia, mate. This is the Murchison River. And uh, we're trying to get ourselves a croaker. Right, so I've just had to change tact a bit. Thought I could reef one in off that reef early. But bow Oh, it is Phil. The picture on um, YouTube is much cl uh, clearer, Phil. Yeah, it's Riley, go and study, all right? Study's important, this isn't important. Do your study, then come in, okay? Gotta stay focused, Riley. You gotta know which buttons to press on the calculator, mate. Hey, don't do that, come on, bugger. Easy, easy, don't you dare. See, even the waves are jealous of the fishing rod. And look, famo, we might not catch anything today. Who cares? Let me just get this done. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, I'm going to change the soft plastic now to a smaller bodied soft plastic, and I might even um, I might even go to the smaller soft plastic setup. But at the moment, this is what we have. Hang on, that's my leader. Yeah, so what happened was when we cast then, we actually cast over the reef, which was a real shock. 
Yep, that's the channel where that boat is, and we're reaching the channel from the shore, so this is all good. I was going to bring the secret weapon up, but then I um, did a bit of a test with the secret weapon and with the um, Shimano rod. Oh, well, Cal, that's how they are, a lot of the old boys, mate, because in their days, everything was a competition, you know? Right, so let's quickly do another rig. And thanks for the support, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We're having a really red-hot go at uh, promoting YouTube as a live streaming platform. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, seven. And this is the problem with braid. It doesn't have the um, same abrasion. <laughs> That's how they are. Cal, that's that era, mate. Totally different era then, bud. You know, you just got to embrace it. You can't change it and just work with it, man, you know. All right, fam. Now, the leader that we're using today is this FC Rock leader by Sunline. Really good stuff. I really enjoy using this fluorocarbon. It's about the only fluorocarbon that I enjoy using, fam. I've had so many disasters with others. But this stuff is good. Hey, DJ, what's going on, bud? Let's see if we can get a mull away. We had a good hit first up, fam. Right, we had a really good hit first up. It didn't connect. So I think it might have just been a small one. Let's see how we go up. That's exactly right, ZSN. That's exactly right, my friend, you know? It's all about getting you out there, you know what I mean? Being in amongst nature. Now, just going to do a quick soft plastic leader. Sam, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but that's a younger generation, cow. You've got to remember, mate, in the old days, you know, very volatile lifestyle. We're lucky, cow. We've never been in a war, you know what I mean? So, all right, let's have a look. What do we got here? No, I don't want that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stay with the really big jig heads, right? And then we might throw the odd squidly out too. But let's, um, let's use that one that we glued up the other day. You know? Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, dear. It's a labour of love, streaming fam. It's a labour of love. Nothing's easy. All right. So. I'll show you how to do a loop knot, fam. Watch this. So with a loop knot, what you do is you do what's called a granny knot there. Because, you know, all the grannies won the war with it. Right, like that. Okay. Always do the granny knot first. Then put that through the eye of your hook. It doesn't work if you put it through the eye of your hook and then try and do the granny knot, okay? Then, up and under, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Back through here. Right, back through here. Someone clip this, please. Ta-da! Beautiful little loop knot. What this does is this gives your soft plastic action. Hey, guys, are Elf, how are you, bud? Tell everyone that the stream's on, mate. Get them to come in, the lazy buggers. All right, famo. Now, this is the game plan. You see that little green marker out here? On the left, we want to cast just to the right of it. Right. Get out of there, come on. Rightio. There's a lot of swirl out here, fam. This is where the Mulloway hang out. Come on, come on, that's good. Don't you wet that. Oh dear, that's a bit close. That's a bit close for my liking. A bit close for my liking. Too much electronics, too much electronics. Hang on, hang on. Too much electronics. Hang on, fam. 
Too much electronics. Too much electronics. There we go. There we go. Oi. There we go. Alright. So. What I might do, famo, is I'm going to try and zoom in a bit. Hang on a second. Oh, can I do that with this? Oh, no, no. Let's have a look. Thanks, Cal. Right. Now, let's get that back there. Let's get that back there. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Let's do it, fam. Rightio, so we've hit the channel from here. Give that time to sink. Rod tip low, let it sit on the bottom. Give it 30 seconds so the fish have a look at it. Okay? It's a pretty good effort to be able to cast into the channel from here, fam. But that does not necessarily mean that it will equate to fish. And over there we have more structure, so let's just see. That would be a good hit. We've got an incoming tide too, which is perfect. Man, we've had... That's a really long cast, fam. All right, we go again. What I'm going to do, okay, is I'm actually just going to cast a little bit more to the left each time. As soon as we feel a bit of structure, we'll know where the reef is, and then we'll fish just to the right of that. That is a lovely cast. What we've done is we've managed to cast about 20 metres past that channel marker. Good, all right, so there's no reef here, which is good. We're right in that swirl, famo. Get out of there! Oh, get out of it! Oh. oh, get out of there! No, get around from that pole! Oh. Oh. Get out of there! Oh. Wow. Wrapped. Wow. Uh, well, that was a hit and a half. Woo! Took me straight in the reef. Well, at least we know it works. Uh, yeah, something like that, ZSN. Uh, 
It's all right, we go again, famo. We go again. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> Rightio. Whew. The exhilaration meters off the charts, fam. So, hey, puppy. Hello, mate. You don't like your walks much, do you? You're walking with mum. Hey, mate, how you going? I just got smashed then. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm using seven inch soft plastics. Yep. And I just got to the left of the marker yeah. and it just, like I felt the, the hit and then straight in the reef. Oh, that's okay. right, you go again. <laughs> you too, mate. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Yeah, big day tomorrow, fam. I'm going to show you some proper fishing. <laughs> Don't know, Nathan. John, no idea. It didn't feel like a mulloway, though, so who knows what it was. But, yeah, straight in the reef, mate. It could have been even what they call a northwest mulloway. Both things absolutely pull like trains. So, normally if it's a croak, you got big head shakes. That thing just hit and then straight into the reef, man. Hooking fish is one thing. Landing fish, totally different ball game, famo. So, we've just lost <laughs> two, two uh, jig heads and tails in our first... <laughs> Man, love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so what happens is, because we've cast past the reef, we're getting some serious airtime, fam. I mean, serious airtime with this outfit. Right, um, this Tasline casts like a dream. Okay, and... Um, yeah. No idea, people. Let's uh, find out, though. I'm going to tell you one thing though, I'm going to stay here and keep fishing till we find out. Right, we're going to go to a different soft plastic now fam. Right, we're going to go to one that's got a different profile. What I want to do is I want to use a soft plastic that has more of a mullet type profile, which is the fish that live in this river, okay? So... I'll show you a braid knot that I use in a minute. Okay. So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to go to a lure, sorry, a soft plastic, which is a lure, that's got a slightly lighter weight because we don't have that much water in here at the moment. Right. Actually, you know what? Absolutely belted. What we'll do is we'll stick with the heavy jig head, but we'll go to the uh, big grub tail like that. That has a far more enticing action in the water, okay? Oh, what a rush. Seriously, fam, you don't need to do drugs. Just go fishing up north. All right. Gavin, how are you, bud? Ah, uh, good, Gav, we just got smashed. So, I think I just lost my tooth. Oh, 
We actually cast out further than that boat, fam. That's how good we're going today. Mate, you're pretty game trying to go out there in those conditions in that, bud. Righto, famo. Excellent. So this is the strategy for today. You've got to figure this out when you go fishing. We're just going to fish to the right of that channel marker. I was hoping we could go close enough to the reef and hook something, because usually mulloway hang around reef and that sort of stuff. But we'll just work from there. What I'm going to do is, now that we've got our plan of attack figured out, I'm just going to zoom in the camera, or the phone, sorry. Right, and we're going to be into it. WATP, how are you, bud? Now... Welcome, let's just get this going. Hang on fam, I just gotta sort this out now. Right, yeah, we can do this. Alright, so let's zoom this in a bit. That's probably gonna be a bit better, I think. Excellent. Let's bring this in. Righto fam, tomorrow we've got a 10 hour fishing stream. Right, let's see how that's going. Alright, that should be a bit better famo. It is WATP, it is mate. Alright, so when you cast famo, you need to have a straight line so see this is going behind me and my rod tips on the water I've got the tension in that now watch that's still going still going still going Woompa just landed this is a nine foot six fishing rod okay <coughs> we're using 40 pound Taz line so this is a Shimano Jewel 962 shore spin heavy line 8 to 15 kilo Okay, um, and the reel is a Pen Fierce 3 8000. I think we've, I think we hooked a bit of weed here, hang on. And not the 420 type. Come on. That's how far we're casting, fam. We're casting into the channel where all the weed is. Right, let's go again. So count the air time on this, fam, as we cast. Ready? Now remember, too, when you cast with a fishing rod, good fishing rods are built on a backbone. That's why I turn the rod up and my guides are facing straight up so I can utilise my backbone on this fishing rod. Ready? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seconds of air time, fam. 
And this is not an expensive fishing outfit. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to be able to fish effectively, okay? All right, let me just catch up on chat for a second. <laughs> All right, famo, now. All right, I'm gonna just cast a little bit closer to this channel marker. That's a cast and a half, Bemo. That's a cast and a half. It really is. So, okay, I'm just going to sit there for a second and let the fish have a look at it, okay? Today. Right, let's stop for a second. Hey mate, how you going? Pardon? Oh, I've been smashed off the race once, but nothing since. Just had a follow and a hit. Hey mate, how you going? Yeah, yeah not too bad. Yeah, you close? yeah, yeah uh, it helps. We just need the fish on the end of it, mate. <laughs> That's right. I'm getting far enough. <laughs> You don't need the expensive gear, mate. You just know what you're doing, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Have a lovely day. Enjoy the sunshine. Righto, Fermo. So this is good. We just had another follow, right? So we've got our moon phase right. We've got the tides right. Everything's working in our favour. Okay, so I'm just going to give these fish a time to look at this. What I'm doing early on is I'm stirring them up with the big jig heads, right? So, going to make a lot of noise, let the fish know they're there, rudder, rudder, rudder. Then, we're going to change to a different profile, and that's when I think we'll get them. Okay?
Now what hit that? Okay fam, so what's happened is, right, we've had a couple of follows now, okay, and they've hit this lure just as about as it's left the water. So what I think's happening, I don't know whether you can see it, I think they've had a go at the tail here, right? So we'll do a couple more casts with this, then change the profile of the soft plastic, okay? So. You gotta keep thinking all the time when you fish, famo. <sighs> Just see the old boy snap his head back when I nearly hit that channel marker? <laughs> These are the sort of tidal rivers you get over east, right? So, Righto fam, let's change the size of this soft plastic, we'll change the profile, we'll change the action, okay? Welcome back, Cal. Alright, this is good. We're thinking, when you think, that's when you have more of a chance of catching fish than when you don't. Alright, so they all know we're out there. Great. You're going to have to save that for tomorrow, I think. Yep. Right, now. Now, what we're going to do now, fam, okay, is we're going to go to a slightly smaller head, okay, and more of a mullet-type profile with this soft plastic, okay, because there are a lot of mullet in this river. Right. So we won't be able to cast as far, which is not a bad thing. And what we'll do is we'll have more action on this soft plastic, okay? Nice, good work. All right, Famo. And what we might do is shift back over and fish inside the reef. We'll just see how far we can cast with this, okay? That's still a really good cast, Fam. That's good. Yep, that's a really good action, a really good displacement in the water. Let's just move around a bit now.
Oh, what happened there? Really? Why, why would you do that to me? Yep. As soon as we went to the lighter jig head, famo, we've got a little bit of twist in the line, so hang on a second. Very disappointing. Come on. If I can't get this out, No. Rightio. Well. Hey there, Devil Rocks Gaming. 30, uh, 30 odd degrees, man. So, just your typical up north weather, you know. Might have to go and get the seven footer, fam. Although, I probably wouldn't be able to set the hook. <laughs> JDF Saints, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream mate Nice to see a few people around today fam Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome The problem with the old soft plackies, when you start to use the lighter jig heads. <gasps> Mantra, yes mate. That's why everybody heads north in the winter, bud. You know? That's why everybody heads north in the winter. Ah. Uh. Rhino, how are you bud? Now Rhino, you need to test this exclamation mark Rhino in the chat. So R-H-I-N-O and see if that works. Rhino, it should do, I'm hoping. Rhino, we got smashed off on the soft plastic, mate. I couldn't budge it. Felt the hook set, straight in the reef. Hey, it worked. There you go. Um, pretty good, Rhino. We landed last night, but it was uh, uh, blowing onshore pretty savage. We got a full fishing stream tomorrow, Rhino. So uh, we're going to be fishing a beach. Steve, how are you, bud? We're going to be fishing a beach north of Calberry. So what I've done, Rhino, is we've been getting followed pretty close. I've put more of a mullet type profile on with a lighter head. Let's see how we go. S still getting good casting distance, Famo. So this is the mouth of the Murchison River in Kalbarri, people. Okay, really good fishing spot. But like anything, we're not using bait today. We're just using soft plastic, so there's no guarantees, you know? I'm getting the odd small fish that's hitting the soft plastic, but not big enough to set the hook.
Mate, why are you going all twisty on me for all of a sudden? The last thing I need is a mulloway to hit now. Oh man, that would be a disaster. Come on, bud. No, 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 come on. Yeah, we shifted to the lighter jig head, fam. And we're just having a few headaches. Just give me a second. It's catch 22, right? With overhead reels, you don't get any twists, but you don't cast as far. Right, and with the thread line reels, it's just a lot easier, but you're a bit more prone to line twist. Um, I'm using, oh, for God's sake, I'm using pretty heavy duty swivels. Righty, yeah, just give me a second, Thermo. That's a pretty good cast as well. Now we have got some bait fish that have been jumping out of the water down there. So let's see what's around, eh? I've got a bit of a recipe of disaster here, fam, because I've got a knot in my braid, right? Hang on. I need to get this knot out, but I don't know how we're going to do that. Just going to whisk this in over this reef. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to let it hit the bottom. Come on. Okay. Now we know where the knot is. I've got to take some more braid off. They don't make swivels like they used to, fam. I keep telling everyone. They don't believe me, though. Hey, Glasgow. How are you, bud? Oh, I will a bit later on, mate. Bit later on when I get back. But we've upgraded the webcam from a Bourne to a Logitech, all right? So, yeah. Right. Now, if a Mulloway hits now, while I'm reeling this lure in like a hand line. Nathan, John, nah, mate. It's not the braid that's the problem, pal. Right, and if I was fishing with monofilament, I wouldn't be able to cast as far as I could with braid, mate. Okay? If I was casting with monofilament, Nathan, John, I wouldn't even get a half the distance that I've got now. So I'm using 40 pound, uh, I'm using 40 pound braid, right? But um, with that 40 pound braid, obviously, you know. You've got uh, to use a swivel that suits. So. And I had the reel balanced perfectly and everything, you know, but I changed from a uh, two ounce jig head to like a one ounce jig head, which is a bit light. But anyway, that's the lay of the land, isn't it, fam? You know, you just got to learn to work with it, don't you? Good on you, Rhino. People, please go and give Rhino a follow on Twitch. He's a good kid, just got partnered. Okay? One of the down, most down-to-earth streamers I've seen on Twitch.
and partner hasn't poisoned him so. Right, good work. Hey, okay fam. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. I just thought I saw a little shape in the water here, fam. Just gonna do a very short cast. I might stir this old bloke up in a minute. Hang on, Femo. Come on, what are you doing? All right. So what we're gonna do now, fam, is I'm gonna start working my way around on the inside of this reef and see if we can get something to hit this soft plastic. All right, that's better. Excellent. We've got a little channel in here. And this is the good thing about fishing with soft plastics, Fab. You've got to be a lot more active and a lot busier than just with bait. We've got a fair bit of swirl in here, Famo, so. Don't get my, don't you dare. That's a nice cast. Rightio, hang on a second, fam. Just give the fish a bit of time to look at that. There we go. That first fish that hit us and took us into the reef, I've no idea what that was. All right, that's a bit better cast. I'm just gonna let this sink to the bottom.
Nice, that's a bit better. So what we're doing, fam, is there's a uh, reef just on the inside of this river mouth. We're casting between the reef and the shallows. I'm hoping there's something that's on this side of it, you know? Come on. We got smoked over here before by a fish. Oh, what was that? Come on. That's tracking nice and straight. Beautiful. That's a good cast. Just gonna wade out a bit then. Right, let's go again here. Okay, we're right in the deeper water there, famo. I'm using 50 pound leader today, so I don't know whether that's putting them off. But the thing is, you know, with this area, if you don't, um, you know what I mean? If you don't use that sort of leader, it is fluorocarbon, you'll just get smashed every time, you know? Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cast this out and leave it right and just have a chat to everyone there we go all right let's let them have a bit of time oh i can't do that now there's a boat there hang on Just gonna leave that now. Sorry about this, fam. I should really be checking on the stream, you know. Miraglio, how are you, bud? Certainly you, Steve. Capone, how are you, bud? Oh, thanks, mate. Good to see you in here, mate. Capone, how are you, mate? People, don't forget 
to uh don't forget to like the stream today okay come in how are you mate welcome bud glasgow oh that's a reef bud oh really guys that's a reef out there mate this is one of the most dangerous openings to the ocean right in western australia You can't muck around out here, boys and girls. You can't muck around out here. Ideally, we'd want to fish the deeper areas, but there's too many boats. I wouldn't be able to get a cast in, you know? That's the way, mate. Don't muck around. Just give it to it. That's the way. Good man. What a beautiful hull that is. And this is the thing with fishing soft plastics, famo. You gotta put in the time. What we're gonna do, we're gonna swap from this mullet profile. We're gonna put a squid on, see how that goes. I just wanna see how that casts in the water, you know? We're just going to move over here. I'm going to cast at that same spot that we got smashed before. I couldn't even turn its head, Famo. It hit and went straight for that reef. Right, just hang on a second. What I'll do is I'll just turn this around Right, so you can all see. Harry, how are you, bud? Yeah, that's right, Stephen, yeah. Every time you go out in a boat here, famo, right, you risk your life. This isn't the, um, in, like, this isn't the south coast, mate. This is the, uh, this is the Batavia coast, virtually, right. All right, so let's get this on the road. Let's do that. That's a, that's a really good cast.
All right, fam, so what it is, we've cast to within about, I would say, probably about six feet of this reef. We're trying to entice something off the reef. What we did before was we, we cast over the reef, the fish hit and went straight for the reef and just wrapped us. So. Just got to persevere fam, that's fishing. And what we're going to do, famo, now that these boats have gone out for the day, we're going to just move down to that rocky headland over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and fish this deeper water where most of the swirl is, okay? So stick around. We'll just have a few more casts here. Early on this morning, there was boat activity everywhere because they're all going out for the day. And now they've sort of managed to virtually, I think that's most of them now, now that we've got less boats, we'll go and do some heavy stuff, okay? So we'll just give it five more casts. The conditions have uh, quieted off beautifully, but there's a howling southwester coming in this afternoon, you know.
Righto, famo. We're going to move in a second, fam. Like I said, we're going to go closer to the river mouth. We're going to fish on the other side of that boat. There are a heap of people fishing there this morning, so I didn't want to try and push in, but now we'll just go over. So obviously all the action is on that side of the reef, which is where we're going to go now, okay? So let's get this sorted. Okay, sorry about ignoring chat, but we were busy down by the water. Hey there, Manti. How are you, bud? Yeah, mate. Pelicans, we're in their turf. All right, everyone. All right, fam. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna turn the phone off for a second, fam. I've gotta pick everything up. Right, so mods, keep an eye on everything for me, okay? Let's do it, Steve-o. It's gonna be hard carrying 15 people, but I reckon I can do it. Oh, sugar. You know that guy on the ads with the phone that always drops the phone? I'm that guy. All right, now, beautiful. We've got this easterly picking up, south easterly, sorry. Righto, famo, let's go. Now, the reason why I want to go over there too, fam, right, is we need to cast that around, okay? I'll be very surprised if that doesn't get us a fish, you know? Here comes that southeasterly fan. Woo! It's strong, isn't it? Rightio, let's go for a walk and just suss out what we're doing as we go along, eh? I don't know whether you can see this. Let me put this up high. But that's a very, very dangerous break there, see? Right, that boat's come in on this side of it, so it's safe. But this is one of the most dangerous um, spots to go into the ocean I've seen. It's even more dangerous than Walpole, you know? It has calmed down a bit, but it's still pretty hairy out there, you know? So what we're gonna do is just walk around, okay? And see, hey, see if we can uh, hook into a fish. There's no boats now, and there's not many people, so we should be okay. All right. I don't like to encroach upon people just because we're streaming, you know.
Let's do it. Hello, puppy. Morning, mate. Looks like our old dog. Good, mate, yourself. Righto, fam. So you'll see what I mean by this reef in a minute. So check this out. Right. There's this reef that runs parallel to the shore in here. We cast over that before, hooked up to something, and it just headed straight for the reef, which is, you know, one of the hazards of fishing, you know what I mean? So... As you can see in here, look at all the bait fish hanging around that little bit of structure there, fam. There's a heap of mullet hanging around that structure. Right, so what we're going to do is in here, we're going to go on this side of the reef. Right, see it in there? Right. We're going to go, oh, hang on. Not going to go anywhere, really. Just about lost me soft plastics, fam. Alright, so this is the reef that we cast over before. Alright, and like I said, I didn't go fishing here because there was a heap of people. Now what we're going to do is because the people have left and we don't have any boats in here, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to fish on this side of the reef now and fish the opening, you know. And it's a bit deeper in here, fam. So things should be in our favour now. Let's have a look. Okay. So this is the opening to the ocean. Don't mess with it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to you. Right? Just don't mess with it. Rightio. So, there we go. Chuck that down there. So what we've got on this side now is on this side we have all this structure okay in here all right now this is a bit deeper so what we're going to do is we're going to start fishing on the right here just work my way around to the left okay now there are some fish out here fam we've got some fish out here what are they are they mullet or what I've got the wrong size soft plastics, but anyway, let's have a look. Are they whining or mullet? I've got the seven foot rod up there. I might come back with some smaller soft plastics, I think. Is a bit deeper in here. <laughs> They're all hanging around the soft plastic gun. It's all right, little fella, we'll save you. Are they Norwest blowies? No, surely not. They probably are. All right, let's go again. A bit closer to the reef this time. Oh, why are you doing that to me? Just had another tangle. Let me just put this phone down, fam, so I can read chat. What a beautiful part of the world. Excuse me for a second. Alright, Famo. 
Let's go to YouTube. Channel. Okay. Have you really, Steve? Okay, mate. Angry Jerry, Steve. Look, people. Okay. I'll be straight up with you. Um, Kalbarri got affected by a cyclone a couple of years ago. The best way to support a small town, pay to stay in the town with accommodation, whether it's uh, short-term accommodation, um, caravan parks, camping grounds, whatever. Come into town, spend money at the local shops. Go and buy a beer if you like to drink. Go to the local IGA, spend money over the counter, because people are going to use that money to rebuild. The whole place was decimated, fam. It just about levelled the whole town out. But as a fair testament of spirit to the people that live here, they've recovered as Aussies do, because we're all tough. Right, and uh, you know, that's how you support a town. So instead of going, you know, all the way up north, like way up north, Calbarry's only six hours from Perth, right? You can get there. If you leave at five in the morning, you'll be there before lunch, and away you go, right? That's how you help a town rebuild. So just come in and spend money in the place, okay? Excuse me for a second. Got a bit of a tangle, fam. I'm telling you, they don't make everything like they used to, famo. I'm telling you. Never had problems with braid. Right. I'm just going to cast to the left of this reef here, fam. I think it's just over here. Look at this sunny day. Oh, nice. I'm just going to have to swap the um, microphone over to this collar. Look at the size of this seal. Look at this. I'm just going to bring in the soft plastic. And this gives me the perfect angle for the worst joke I've ever heard. What do seals and porridge have in common? Oints, oints, oints. That's the worst joke I've ever heard. Right? There it is, it's just out in the middle there. That's probably why we're not going to get to get any fish. Check that out. It's just out in the middle there, fam. <laughs> cow, you're not meant to laugh, cow. What are you doing? It's just out there to the left of those rocks, fam. <laughs> Manzi. Hopefully they told better jokes than I did, Manzi. Hey. Rightio, fam. These are all mullet, fam. They are too. Hang on. Let's jag one. <laughs> Too quick for me. Famo, we had a good bust up this morning. We haven't landed any fish, but it's all good, you know.
very shallow through here. Yeah, so what's happened is the seals herded in this school of fish into the shallows here. Check this boat out, fam. Look at this boat coming in through the channel here. This is hardcore. Right, this is a proper big fishing boat. Look at this just bludgeoning its way through the water. Watch this dog leg it's got to do around these channel markers. Oh yeah. He knows what he's doing. See how he's hugging that red channel marker? Good work, mate. That's a local fishing charter. They go out for fishing and for the lobster. Get up, mate. If all goes well tomorrow, fam, we should be doing an all-day beach fishing stream. Nice. Now see how he waited for his moment to come in. See how those waves are crashing across the opening to the mouth there? Bloody oh. Oh dear. Hey Mayhem, no we haven't. Yeah, can the mods get onto that? Can the mods get onto that idiot trying to spam? Rightio. Well, this is good, famo, because if we've got these mullet in here, there's fish on the other side of them. So we've got a good chance of something here. Got a heap of mullet in here, fam. Let's just chill out for a second, eh? I mean, I could come down here and use bait, but there's no challenge in bait, you know? Okay. Oh, it's Rakeel in here. Hey, bud, how are you? Yeah, it's on YouTube, mate. All right, fam. So, we're gonna go back to the really big soft plastics. So just hang on a second. What I wanna do, 
is I want to try and cast out as close as I can to the mouth of the river out there. So this is how we're going to do it. How are you, Reiki? What's going on, mate? We're going to go back to these really... Oh, maybe not that one. We're going to go back to these really big soft plastics now, Famo. And aim straight for the channel markers, okay? This is going to be a bit serious. Okay? If I was using smaller soft plastics, I would have caught more fish today, fam. But I'm just after big fish today. I'll show you in a second, Mayhem. Alrighty, count the air time on this cast, fam. Alright, count the air time on this cast. Just count the air time on this cast. That's still going. That just landed. The reason why I said it's a bit serious, Mayhem, if we actually hook a fish on that size soft plastic, it's not going to be small, okay? Look at the size of this boat, famo. Oh, that was a hit! Come on! That was a hit, fam! Come on! Hit it! We had a couple of bumps then. Wait for this boat to come through. Look at that. That is the thing of beauty. Look at it. That's a local Kalbarri business, www.reefwalker.com.au. If you're in Kalbarri, go on a guided like uh, fishing trip like that, fam, if you like doing that sort of stuff, okay? <sighs> Lovely. You'll always get fish that hit the tails of soft plastics, but to get a fish big enough to hit it side on and hit the jig head, different world, you know?
Not bad for a nine and a half foot fishing rod, is it? Oh, come on. Now what hit that famo? That was a hit, fam. What hit it? There's something swimming out there. It's just not big enough to take the soft plastic. Let's have a look. Now this is what I mean. See how we've super glued that soft plastic to the head? Right, we've had no issues with that soft plastic coming off at all, okay? Oh, so what it is, Phil, that's braid to the swivel, and this is FC rock fluorocarbon, okay? That's the easiest way to use your soft plastics, mate. We've had a fun morning, fam. Now, tomorrow we'll be doing an all-day fishing stream north of Kalbarri. See those little sand dunes over there in between the cliffs? We should be fishing from there tomorrow. I think we've got a bit of weed here, famo. Let's have a look. Yeah, big bit of weed. Come on. That's okay. At least we've still got the tail on this. That's still going, just landed. And this is not expensive fishing equipment, fam. You don't need to spend big dollars on equipment, fam. -o. I think this rod cost me about 150 bucks and the reel cost me 110, right? So under 300 bucks, get your braid. That's a good value for money outfit. And look, a lot of people sort of get sucked into reading a lot about fishing and then they want what they read the only time right you'll know exactly how good gear is right is when you go into the tackle store and put a bend in it when you're buying it you know now what's happened here famo I could have sworn I had a fish then, but no, let's go again. We're starting to get a bit of interest. This is good. As you know, with soft plastic fishing, fam, you'll have nothing for an eternity. Then out of nowhere, boom, you'll get fish, you know? This is only a nine and a half foot fishing rod too. Do you know what I mean? I left the secret weapon at home. I'm going to use that on the beach at home. The salmon should be back on the beaches when we back, get back next week, fam. Okay, they should be back on the beaches. Oh, 
Oh, come on. What's that? There's something trying to hit that soft placky fan. It's too small for it. Come on. Whatever that's trying to hit it, the soft plastic's too big for it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, you've got to give it 10 out of 10 for ambition, you know. It's getting hit by something, Femo. Am I in your way, ladies? Is this the swimming or fishing area? Am I in your way? Do you want me to move? I said, do you want me to move? Oh, I don't know, mate. I've just come up for the day and it was to about here, but there's a big seal swimming around in here, so you might not want to swim in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was about seven foot long, the big bugger, and he just came in in between these rocks chasing okay. these mullet. So, yeah, they said to me that it was like on, on that side of the reef. Okay, so this side... Oh, I don't, I don't know, mate, but I'm just hugging this corner trying to stay out of everyone's yeah, yeah, way. Now, Famo, there's some bait fish jumping out of the water here. I don't know whether you can see this, but my fishing rod, right, something's hitting the soft plastic. It's trying to hook up on it. See the rod? How it's getting the little bounces? But the fish isn't big enough that's trying to hit it. It's getting, it might even be a tailor, I guess, don't I? I don't know, fam. Anyway. Hey, Rhino. Hey, uh, and look, Famo, the other thing is too, right, with your fishing, you know, you've got loop knots, you've got all your other knots and that, knowing how far to do it, the size of the loop for the rig that you're using, rada, 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 that's the key. And you build that up from experience, you know. That's a great cast. It would have been nice to land that fish that we got on our second cast today, fam, but we're not that lucky. Oh, come on. Right, I'm just gonna stop and let this fish have a look at it, whatever it is. Come on. See how it's trying to hook up? Hear the drag? Did you hear how the drag slightly went off there? But look, Famo, with your fishing jigs and soft plastics, I'm a firm believer, big fish, big bait. So with the 7-0 hook that I've got on there, that's way too big for anything under about that to hook up on. You know, the only way I'm going to hook anything is if it hooks it in the side of the face, you know. Well, 
There's something about the sound of the uh, braids rifling through the guides, fam. Don't know what it is. So what I'll do, I'm just going to back this drag off. Right, so. You'll hear it. It tries to hit the soft plastic. Right. It's not hitting this time. Come on. There it is. Hear it? It's trying to hit the soft plastic. There it is. Come on. Mate. <laughs> see how it can't hook up? There it is again. See? Come on. So they do work. We just don't have anything out there big enough for this size soft plastic. So, you know what that probably could be, fam? That could probably be a small pink snapper. So what we'll do is we'll put the squid on in a second and we'll have a bit of fun with that. Hang on, let's go, let's go with this one for now. Right, we're getting fantastic distance on these casts. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to change to that squid now. If it is a little pink snapper, they love cephalopods. I think a squid's a cephalopod. Come on, here it goes. Come on, buddy. Yeah, but it's trying to hook up. This thing's trying to hook up more than Tinder. Just doesn't quite have the goods. What do they do? Swipe left or whatever it is? Rightio, famo. So, let's go and put one of these little squids up that we did, eh? Sorry, fam, had a call for work. Now, famo, we've just had something swim into the area and it's trying to smash these mullet down at the front. Can you see that? Can you see the little mullet down at the front to the left of your screen? Right. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put on a squid instead of this really big oversized bait, okay? So, what I'm going to do... Right is we're going to go with this one that we did up. Right. And see how we go with that. Yeah, something just had a swipe at those mullet.
Oh yeah, it's a beautiful little um, beautiful little soft placky, mate. All right, we'll probably give it another half hour, fam. That guy shouldn't be standing there in the boat. He should be sitting in the middle to lift the nose up on that tinny. Very dangerous to do that, fam. If he falls out of the boat, they'll go straight over the top of him. Fam. And just to be a bit cheeky, I'm going to put a really short leader on there. Let's save this little pink snapper out here. That's a really good cast with that size jig head on this rod. That actually got hit, fam. Can't be, surely not. Oh, come on! I think Mayhem would start crying if this was a snapper. Oh, get in there! Oh, it's still too small! Come on! And look at that fam, because we've used the super glue on the jig head, see how it still stays true? Right? Looks fantastic in the water. Okay. Can one of our mods please type exclamation mark rhino in the chat, R-H-I-N-O please? Rhino's an up-and-coming Australian streamer, soon to go on the great things, fam. I'm calling it right here. Right. Recently partnered and a good kid. So go and show him some support on Twitch, famo. Come on. Oh, come on. Whatever it is, it's too small to hook up on the hook. Oh, look over here, fam. Look, look. See that on the left? Rightio, now we're going to cast to position. So whatever it is. Okay. See it? Great. Come on, bud, whatever you are. So what's happened is, fam, whatever is in this little cove, has bunched up a heap of mullet in here and now it's trying to pick them off. So we'll have a few more casts with the squid. I'll put another leader on. Right, and then what we'll do is I'm gonna put the closest soft plastic I've got to a mullet in here. <coughs> These are diamond scale mullet. The mullet in here range from this big to about four pound. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, it still can't hook up. It still can't hook up, whatever it is. See how it's trying to hook up? Come on. But that's okay. I feel the rallies might be around, you know?
Now, Famo, I don't know what this fish is under here. Get in there. My guess, right? My guess is that that's a mulloway. That's my guess because it's trying to hammer the mullet. Right, so let's get a bit serious now. Yeah, I know, Rhino. It's like anything, but that's fishing, mate, isn't it? You know, like for hours on end, you have nothing. Then out of nowhere, right? Then out of nowhere, boom, pa, you're on. Just got to be ready for it. Right, fam. So, this is what we're going to do. Right. These jig heads are obviously too big. I have got the seven footer in the car. We might be going to pay that a visit in a second. All right, famo, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to more of a mullet type profile like that, okay? We're not going to cast too far. These are half ounce jig heads. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can land a croaker on one of these. And we're going to fish this like a bait. I'll show you what I mean by that. Hey, Sean, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Hey, thanks, people. 20 people in here. Thanks very much. And like I said, I could use bait and all that sort of thing, but nah. We want to be challenged with our fishing while we're away. So hence, we are using um, soft plastics and lures, okay? Okay, the mullet have moved, fam, so whatever was there has moved as well. Oh, you too, Sean. Good to see you, mate. We're on. We're in Caratha, Sean. One of the best places in WA to catch mulloway, mate. But you know, as with always with fishing, mate, no guarantees. Rightio, we're going to do short-range casts and casting to position, famo. Righto, Famo. Right, we're not trying to cast to distance. We're trying to cast to where the fish are. Now, I've cast that out. I'm letting it sink to the bottom. And what that'll do is that'll go bang straight in the bottom like that, and it'll be riding at an angle with the tail moving in the water. Watch.
Okay. Now, nothing hit that time. That's a good cast. We're just going to let that rest on the bottom again. Remember what I said with the soft plastic? Fish it like a bait. With the wind blowing this way and the direction of this like current, it's pushing into these rocks, Fab. That's where these mullet are. Right. Okay, much better famo, let's go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try something different. We're just gonna see if we can get a territorial strike now. Always gotta mix it up. Oh, there it is. There was a fish chasing that. What was that? Looked like a little cooter or something, like a barracuda. Okay, so we've tried dead slow, we've tried quick. Now we need to find somewhere in between. I gotta go and get some more jig heads, fam. Oh, hello! <laughs> Righto, fam, so what we've got out there. We've got quite a few fish about yay big, right? If I had my little set, I have got my little um, soft plastics and that sort of stuff, but I don't want to sort of hammer them. And what they were doing is they were hammering that soft plastic as it was coming in. That's why we couldn't hook them up before. Right here, here comes this southeasterly fam. I was waiting for this breeze to come in. Once this southeasterly comes in, it's going to make it a bit difficult to fish. So we'll probably call it a day for today. But we have got some really good content coming up on the YouTube channel. We're going to go and do the Cowberry Skywalk at some stage. I'm also going to go and fish the Murchison today. Going to go and try and catch some Mangrove Jack and also some Black Brim. And if we get those, we'll just put them on the YouTube channel, okay? But while you've got a line in the water, you've got a chance. See how the water's changed with the breeze coming up? It's starting to turn into a washing machine. Rightio. Now. Just a little short cast in here. I'm just going to tease something around this reef, Ben. Just over on the left here, fam, are those bait fish are being, or the mullet are being hit by something again. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big fish. What's that? Hang on, fam. There's a big fish that's just swum into the shallows here. Hang on, hang on. It's having a look at the soft plastic. Come on, mate. You're big enough to hit that, whatever you are. Come on. Hit it. Come on. You're big enough to hit that soft plastic, sunshine. Look like a little mulloway. Come on, mate. Yeah, that wasn't a mullet. Mullet usually have like a, a flat nose on them. This had a point. Could have even been a little Mackie. Let's have a look. The fish that I just saw swim in, fam, was about that wide in the water. Right, it didn't have a mullet profile. A bit like myself, I don't have a mullet profile because I don't have any air. Rhino makes up for that. Hey, um, Cal, did you clip the um, seal and oats joke? Okay. Yeah, this wind's going to come up any minute now, fam. Okay, let's bring this in here for now. Need to get some more jig heads. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Shawnee. So what I'm doing, fam, is I'm fishing this soft plastic like a bait. Too busy laughing, Shawnee. Right, oh fam, we're probably down to our last couple of casts. I need to go into the local tackle store and get some more jig heads, because we lost two this morning. Where we're fishing tomorrow, fam, is just an absolute mecca for fishing. Just, oh. I need to stop thinking about it. Rightio famo, last cast, last cast. It's been a good morning. We had one good bust up. We've had a few good hits fam. Rightio. Well, that's us done for today, famo. Okay. Now, fam, as I said to you, we're in Kalbarri for a few days. Kalbarri was decimated by a cyclone recently. The way you get a town to rebuild, okay, and all credit to the residents of Kalbarri. Stay in the accommodation. Spend your money that way. 
spend it at the shops, spend it at the pubs, spend it in the other shops down here, right? But what they need is they need people to come into the place, embrace the lifestyle and embrace the town, right? And spend their hard earned money in here so they can start rebuilding, all right? So everyone, second cast of the day, we got smashed off today, but that's fishing. Like I said, tomorrow we've got a full stream. Look forward to that. I just gotta wait and see what the height of the swell is. So stay safe and stay well. Be the best person you can be every day. And then hopefully we can get some fish live on stream. We should do. If the weather holds up, we'll be going to another spot this afternoon, famo. See you then. All right. That phone's getting hot. Just in here, fam, is where all the mullet are getting smashed. Just in here, see? There's something hurting him up in there. 